Hey everybody, I'm Nick here, and welcome back to Moons of Madness. As you may notice, there is a different counter on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And that is because I do have a new heart rate monitor. Now that said, that said, um, it's not what I want yet. Um, I'm doing Pulsoid. I'm using Pulsoid. They're an interesting, um, interesting company. Uh, I do want to go back to the history thing. I think it's cooler, but in order to do that, I have to actually subscribe to their model, which is like 40 bucks a year. And honestly, I think I can code what I want better. Uh, I just don't have the receiver, uh, the Bluetooth receiver for my computer that I need to actually get the data myself. I actually don't like this placement exactly. Um, let's move it here. Just so it has a little bit of margin. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, my, it, my phone is connected to the heart rate monitor, which is Bluetooth instead of antenna based, which my old one was, and it up basically passes that data up to a web service, which then wraps up that data and produces a widget, which uh, OBS is referencing as a web page. And that's what we have. Um, but yeah, the, they've got a bunch of different widgets. This is the most or the least obtrusive one uh, that I found and liked, but it's incredibly responsive, uh, which I find awesome. Uh, and that's like, I don't know, that's that's key to me, is that it's responsive. So if, if me coding uh, fails, I might just stick with this. Um, but as I said, I do like the history. No. I'm so sorry, guys. Right, we need the power conduit. Okay, apparently that didn't save. The, that didn't count as a checkpoint, which is bullshit, which means we have to do this all again. But that's okay, because we know exactly how we need to do it. And I don't have to read through everything like I did before. Ah, burning plastic. Definitely a short in the system. I need to find a way to reroute power around the damaged nodes. Okay, maybe I don't remember exactly how to do this, but... Yeah, I don't remember exactly how I did this. I had to have routed it down and up so I could do this, 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 this. Okay. This panel distributes power between the dish and the PC terminal. And that busted node means I can only power one of them at a time. All right, we're going to power the computer first so I can look at the coordinates. We've already read through all this. We want a uh, chatterbox. Negative 158.43. God, it's getting really bad out here. Got to pick up the pace, Shane. This circuit box is amping up the current. Too much power will fry the system. Too little, and the dish won't work. Three, four, five, six. Right. Sandstorm is picking up again. Things just keep getting worse. All right. This just takes a little bit of time because this takes forever to rotate. Excuse me. Nice. Sorry, just... <laughs> it's it's so nice seeing my heart rate being so responsive and not really having to worry about it. This was... Oopsie. It took a lot longer to slow down. I should have gone the other way, shouldn't I have? Yeah, it took that long to slow down. Oh my god, 
Commander Wilcox, where are you? I... Do you copy? There is a creature roaming Trailblazer Alpha. Do not return to base. Repeat, do not. I can't hear you. You're cutting out. We are at base. We need to investigate the Cyrano crash site. No, 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 no. Commander Wilcox. Wilcox. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and enjoy the game freaking out and being super framey for whatever reason. I imagine because it's loading. Come on. Dead. Yep. Not even static. But they're alive. Someone is alive. I'm I'm watching. I'm, I'm watching this absolutely crap itself. Is it just because it's preloading? I have no idea if the audio is, is going well, but... It is la lagging so hard. I'm just, I'm waiting here until it catches up. I have to move at least a little bit to see for sure. Oh, there's the checkpoint reached. So yeah, the encoding appears to be crapping itself somewhere here. I just I have to go forward. I no, go down. What the hell? Well, that was fun. Looks like the only way down is to jump. This is gonna hurt. All right, I'm back. I imagine this is, this is just the game is eating my computer alive. And sadly, you guys can't see what I'm seeing. I don't think there's any way for me to fix this. Like, actually, actually, there is a way to fix this. All right, so. Right now it says that encoding is being overloaded. I'm recording on my main machine now. But it's not freaking out. So there's that. Like, it's probably still bad, but it's probably not nearly as bad. Go to checkpoint. Hey, that did collapse. Yeah, it's... Whatever the NDI plugin is doing right now, it is not happy. Alright, there are stairs here. So yeah, this is probably pretty bad, but... I really don't know. Something about this game NDI just really doesn't like. Is there even a power cell I can get right now? Hopefully my audio isn't terribly messed up by this either. Because it should just have been piping everything over. But yeah, the, the NDI plugin is just absolutely crapping itself.
Just gonna go from light to light here and hopefully not get consumed. Heart rate is through the roof, but not for me. We definitely can't run back is the thing. Like, it took a long journey. There's the meerkat, it looks like. There it is. Oh, fuck! Close! Come on! Come on, come on! Just fucking book it. Yeah, something about this game just does not play well with NDI. Um, like, I'm looking over, it's still super far behind which is really unfortunate because I'm enjoying this game and it's a little bit much for my normal computer to handle like re encoding everything as well as playing it which means it's probably super framey for you guys as well but it's better Declan there is something at the base it's some kind of alien a monster said it has something to do with Volkova's research, though I don't think we can claim credit for discovering aliens. You saw it? Shane, we got emergencies upon emergencies right now. The Cyrano fell out of the sky like a rock. Yup. I, I didn't want to believe that. I'm with Josie and the Meerkat heading out to the crash site to look for survivors. Lucas volunteered to stay behind at the base, but it's in really bad shape, man. The mangrove tree? Its roots are everywhere. Taking over. All right. What can I do? Lucas said he had a pretty good idea what happened and a way to stop it at the source. Find Lucas and help him. He should be in the research lab. I'm glad you're all right, man. Please stay that way. I kind of don't want to take my helmet off, I'm not going to lie to you. Holy shit, the whole base is infected. Okay. Lucas. Lucas. Of course no response. Oh shoot. The research lab is completely blocked by it. Hold, hold tight, Lucas. There has to be a way to get there. Can't touch the walls, can't get through the doors. That's the worse than I expected. Naturally, as soon as I saw what happened, I attempted to retrieve my notes and fabricate a counter agent. Ina must have anticipated my interference as when I arrived to the door, the impenetrable root system and fleshy polyp blocked my pathway. It seemed as though the vociferous plant sensed my presence. I was barely able to extricate myself from the encounter. However, I acquired a small tissue sample from the from my boot after wrestling it from one of the vines. The analyzer identified a temporary counter agent which I set to producing immediately. The vines are becoming more and more aggressive. I hope a Z-series injector is sturdy enough to pierce the roots. I must return to the laboratory in haste. Without a proper way to re reverse this reckless experiment, the base will not withstand this assault. I warned Dr. Volkova about this type of incident. Her ambition, unbridled by the constraints of moral values, has become her undoing. The luminous potential of the Z-pathogen clouded her judgment, and within 
That mental malaise, the passionate spirit that once embodied her waking hours, has physically manifested throughout the base in a mangled cacophony of mangrove roots and filth. This is why I insisted on protocols and procedures to avoid a situation exactly like this one. You know, what have you done? Formula uploaded. Okay. Oh. Okay. Traslam. That is a Z-series injector, I presume. This would be useful. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay, that actually startled me a little bit. So I presume a centrifuge. Did you use your device? All right, what what did I actually connect to? Oh, that. Oh, this is the centrifuge. Okay, um... So it's an interesting little mini puzzle. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, these are blue. Okay, so the thing that's annoying me about this is when you rotate things, it doesn't actually rotate things. So I guess... Okay, um... I see, I see, I see. So we need to find the pattern of these. Okay, I, I, I need to not have them in. I need to look at all of them at once. Maybe I don't have enough.
Are they around here or are they around the base? Because I, I also agree, I don't think I have everything that I need here. Because, well here, let's check over here real fast. Yeah, okay, because because let's, let's look real fast. I'm pretty sure we don't have what we need at all. So, okay, they're, they're, they're looping. So let's start with this one. So... Actually, I guess these two alone are almost enough. Almost. We're missing the middle and the uh, upper right. And we don't have one that is middle and upper right. But what happens, can, can we triple place on any of these? I wonder if it goes back to blue if you triple place on it. I, I need I need to check this. Oh, I don't have anything. Uh, okay, I yeah, I don't have enough. All right, so we we need to further explore. Alright, I definitely can't get past that. Alright, so I have to use what I have. Alright, I have to be missing something. Okay, so is there any is there any way I can okay wait there, there's one that I can triple place. Oops, that wasn't it. I was looking at the wrong place. All right, I I can I can experiment with a triple place. Uh, with the bottom right, which honestly might be the correct play. Uh, wait, no, I'm crazy. Because that would make it red. Which I cannot do. Alright, I'm missing something. They're, they're, oh, god damn it. That is probably enough. All right. Um, that one might be wrong. Nope, I got it. Yep, I'm just blind. The 
computer will only spin if the contents are balanced. Fine. Except they can't be balanced. Okay, fine, that counts as balanced. I wasn't sure. That did it. Because it's not radially balanced. Declan, a little hope. Lucas is AWOL, but he was working on a poison. I've got the compound to test out. Not much but scorching metals and detritus out here. Let's start cataloging if anyone's out salvaged. We're walking. Declan, Lucas is dead. Lucas is fucking dead. Oh, God, no. He's completely covered in that black fluid. It, it's everywhere. It's pulsing. It's, it's on the walls, on the floor. It's, it's like it knew. You think you can breathe, Shane? You're not gonna die. Nobody else is gonna die. You just have to keep going. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. I can't deal with this. Hey, look. It's security protocols. Is this all the stuff we've already read? Some members of the potential future visit to the moons. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've already read that. What was our objective? Something terrible has happened to Anna. She calls out to me. I can hear her taunting, her voice echoing through the halls. I know I can convince her I have to. I need the improved counter agent. One of the hybrid samples, Mauna Loa hybrid, I clipped from the new specimen, is especially dangerous. When it blooms, it expels a noxious cloud. Initially, I assumed these were spores of some kind, but aside from mucusy residue with the chemical composition of saliva, the cloud dissipates quickly. Analysis of the gas shows high levels of tetra tetrodotoxin. From the small clippings I took, the neurotoxin is strong enough to cause more, nausea, more than nausea and discomfort. From a full-grown plant up close, the effects could be fatal. Good to know. He coded a bio gauge script. Lucas and Ina both knew this could happen. Okay. To follow up, I have attached a simple bio gauge script designed to combat exposure to the poison released by the hybrid bloom. Please download for your safety. The bloom reflex is triggered when an organism comes into close proximity. Alternatively, a pulse of high-frequency sound can also trigger the reflex prematurely allowing the gas to dissipate before approaching. For the time being, I took the initiative to pull these plants from the hydroponics wheel so we can talk. The software updated is not OMG certified, but if Lucas was correct, a quick scan with the bio yes. should trigger the plant's bloom with a high-frequency pulse. That's amazing. Now I can find a way into the greenhouse. Thank you, Dr. Van Buren. There's a vial in here, which I presume is that. I should head back to the infirmary and synthesize the stronger poison. I'll need to use the centrifuge. All we know is that the new vial is going to be required. That seems like it's the new vial. 
just going to automatically bounce things. I need... Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, it's not balanced. I just need to find the right one again. Declan, I have what I need. I'm going into the greenhouse, though I'm not sure what to do from here. You're on the right track. I need to hit it at the source. If I can get to the water filtration system, inject it there, the whole system is poisoned. It could work. I actually don't remember the layout of the base because I'm a terrible person. Oh, that is buggy. It's just a short EVA to the airlock at the back of the greenhouse. Declan, there's no helmet in this airlock, and the only way to the greenhouse is from the outside. Okay, what about the other airlocks? They're completely overgrown. This is the worst thing. I shouldn't have taken my helmet off. Oh, shit. That is one hell of a thing to do. Jesus Christ. I think we might want to call this here. It's gotten worse, Declan. Way worse. I'm going to the water purifiers. I hope it'll be enough. Okay, well, after what you just did, you better fucking kill that thing. fun. Yeah, we got a little bug there, but that's okay. Just 
Just keeping his pulse active. I don't know what hit me. I got a checkpoint. Don't like this humming that we're getting here. I only poisoned one. Oh, I had to go to the other, the other side. Don't do it. I told her we need the recon with you, but she's fixated on this. Orochi has secrets upon secrets. Orochi. It is Orochi, right? Apparently, we're going to find out. Oh, it's Ina. She has merged. Oh, that bug is really annoying me, actually. <laughs> Quite sure what I'm supposed to do. Ow. Okay. Using all the different things. Oh. 
Got a lot of this poison, thank goodness. Oh my. That is incredibly violent. Don't know what that is. There we go. It's like, it's trying to hit the center of it. Yeah, it'll do it. Shane, can you access Ina's file? I just saw Ina the other day. She doesn't like this. Shane, focus. Cyrano crashed, the black oil, the plant lines expanding exponentially. This doorway, it's all connected. Where are you? I'm coming, I'm getting out of here. No, you need to access Ina's computer and find out exactly what she was up to. God, are you kidding me? Shane, think. The Cyrano is gone, and our resupply with it. If the main base goes down, we're all dead. If Volkova's research still poses a threat, we need to know. You want to find out what she was up to? You come and do it yourself. I don't care. Okay, listen, I know. I know you've been through a lot. I'm sorry. We all have. You're right. I bet the seats on the rover are just unbearable. Hey, listen, buddy. I've spent all afternoon picking up whatever pieces I could find on the Cyrano crew. Don't act like you're the only one who's having a tough day. Anytime you want to trade places, you be my guest. Oh, fuck off. Enough, both of you, Dr. Newhart. Do you read me? Commander Wilcox. Your primary objective is to assess any further threat to the base. Volkova was clearly hiding things from us. Use her security clearance to obtain whatever information you can find. You are to remain at base and radio your findings to your offsite team. Copy? Yes. Copy. We're headed to the cliffside doorway. If there's proof of intelligent life on Mars, I want to know. I want everyone to know. Declan, you're on comm. Got it. Hey, uh... Sorry to be a dick. Yeah, me too. All right. I can do this. I mean, if I were to start somewhere, it would be Volkova's computer. Okay. I'll check with her station in the research lab. Maybe she left a note or something. You got this. Oh boy. We didn't get a checkpoint. We didn't get a checkpoint. This is going to be a long episode. For many months I have doubted the efficacy of work here on Mars. I know I was recruited for this position and I am undeterred by the obvious scrutiny and surveillance of or Orochi officials. The greenhouse is restrictive in size, limited in my equipment. I am asked to participate in menial tasks and events which remove me from my work. However, a recent breakthrough has allowed my experiments to blossom, and now I demand that the limitless potential of unregulated extraplanetary research with the Orochi promised be, full re be fully realized. Attached is the preliminary listing of the results uh, uh, and a prospectus for the goals of Project AGCI. In belief... In brief, growth and control, the Z pathogen changes its size based on external stimuli. The Z pathogen, which, whether attached to a host organism or isolated, can be trained to repeat tasks, overcome aversion to stimuli, and perform simple functions with positive reinforcement. The potential applications of this discovery is, as you are most definitely aware, groundbreaking. The recent successes and contributions to the study of filth in relation to plant life have proven invaluable to our cause. 
I've instructed Control to accumulate your findings in the Archive Center in Argus, and I have taken the liberty of assigning your project the code name Arbormer. Arbormer. It's like armor, but arbor, because arbor is like tree. Anyway, uh, designation more in line with our mission. You are granted security clearance to the Argus facility. Your access code is 5538. This gives autonomy from Commander Wilcox, though she does not know the extent. She will not have access to your notes or communications at this level, including this email. This closure will result in immediate revocation of clearance. On Mars, you are free from the strictures and eyes even and eyes even the most secure Orochi facilities only dream of. Use that freedom. Do not make me regret this decision. Father. Okay. I dislike veiled threats. I dislike your silly code names and your corporate slang term, the filth. Orochi group and its eight-headed monster name on down overindulges in such grandiosity. It is demeaning. When I succeed, I will not be bringing you the horizon. When I succeed, it will be because I demystified the filth. Such an awesome force should not be debased with pet names. The zero-point pathogen is marginally better. Henceforth, I will refer to it, refer to the substance as Z-Path. When I understand it better, it will gain a more clinical designation. When I succeed, policy will dictate excising these pet names from, from our tongues. When I succeed, I will set the policy. When I succeed, it will be my favor that you so laboriously curry. If you succeed, you will have all that and more. All right, next checkpoint, we're calling it. And I think that that's going to be momentarily. And also, hopefully, it'll fix this silly bug. I can't even see what that says. I don't know, I went all the way to the bottom. Bottom one seemed to be rejected. Alright, so, yeah, it appears as though I'm going to have to record this game locally and not use the NDI plugin like I have been. Which is unfortunate, I think. Alright, the game is lagging on my machine. Alright, well we hit a checkpoint, so this is where we're going to call it. Um, yeah, there's clearly some performance issues with this game. Um, I don't know if it's my computer just can't handle it, or if it just doesn't care about resources and eats them alive. Uh, if I look at the task manager, this is eating, oh my gosh, so much of my CPU. And so much of my memory. So yeah, I don't know. Don't quite know. Uh, maybe I just pretty much have to play this game plain Jane, but also the, the NDI stuff not working is a little frustrating. It's more frustrating than uh, I'd like it to be, but we've got a better heart rate monitor, and I think that's the important part. <laughs> so this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to mesh all together, um, and hopefully, I, I have no idea what it looks like. I have no idea what it looks like at all. So I apologize if this episode looks like complete ass. Um, I'm going to try and figure out how to make it better, but uh, unfortunately you can only play through a game and get an initial reaction once. So that's kind of how it works, unfortunately. So either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I am enjoying this game quite a bit. It really is just the, uh, the recording woes that are causing problems for me. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Again, I've said it a thousand times, I'll say it a thousand more. I will see you all next time, and until then, keep your gears turning.